Hi everyone, I have come to do this I have come to the decision this year that I am not going to buy any new fiction books. Non-fiction might be a different matter, um, but for fiction books I have decided that I have far too many already unread books on my bookshelves. So just to show you what how many books I actually have. I have this bookcase and this one, excuse the wonky shelves and the packing boxes at the side there and this bookshelf bearing in mind most of these shelves are too deep so there are two layers of books. The ones at the top are actually red books. They're definitely red. Some of these are too. But... And this is another bookcase. So you can see that I've got a lot of books and a lot of these are still unread and I've, some I've had for years, some, I mean a lot are second hand so they're old books and I thought well not many people do the older books, there's all about the new releases and things like that so I thought you know what I might as well just do some of the older yeah the older books that I've got on my bookshelves um, get through them a lot of the ones I don't see ever mentioned really so I have mostly adult fantasy and um, some YA but I am mostly in a, an adult fantasy reader so there'll be lots of that uh, some sci-fi and some horror because I want to get back into reading my horror and I will be aware of my <laughs> book buying ban so I will be utilising my library a lot more. Obviously not just now, we're in a tier 4 lockdown here in Scotland which is, yeah, so obviously the libraries and that are all shut um, but they do have, uh, over here it's called Borrowbox, I think in the US I've heard people calling it Libby or something like that, Olivia, which is it's basically the same thing. You can get the audiobooks and the ebooks. So I've got some um, but some borrows from that and a couple reserved, which I will probably show you in another video. So this is what I just wanted to say update this for the booktube videos I'll be doing because I want to start doing a mix of reading along with the writing um, and I also be participating in the Medieval a Thorn reading challenge which uh, I meant to do it last year and I just never got round to it so I'm quite, quite looking forward to it this year uh, I will probably put another video up about that after I've chosen which profession I want to do because they have like baker, bard, blacksmith, seamstress, clergy. I think that's it. Is that it? I could be. Anyway, I'll put more about that up in another video along with hopefully the books I've chosen. Now, I have said in the past that once I pick a TBR, I, really, I don't want to read those books, so I might leave it. Just choose my profession, have a general idea of what books I want to read, and then just pick one at the time I'm going to read. Just so I don't go, mm, I don't want to read that one that I've chosen and told everybody about, and then decide I don't want to, because that's the way I am. So yeah, so that's what my plans are for the beginning of the year. A book buying ban, which should hopefully last all year. Um, I do have some that are already pre-ordered and I will still buy those. 
because I've been waiting for them and they were ordered before I came to this decision. So that's my logic on that one. And uh, participate in more readathons. So the medieval thon is the first one. And I'm actually thinking of creating one myself, but I'll see. Um, I've got a rather strict writing schedule this year, so I don't know if I'll manage to put fill it, fit it in. We'll see. But anyway, that's it for just now. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Then tell me if you're maybe participating in the medieval thon If you've got a book buying ban for this year, you can maybe give me some tips on how to actually stick to it because my self-discipline isn't that great. And especially when it comes to buying books, which is why I have so many unread books because I buy them a lot faster than I can actually read. But there we go. <laughs> That's what it is. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.